Hello, in this video, we'll talk about D. George syndrome. D. George syndrome, which is also known as 22q11.2 deletion syndrome, is a syndrome which is caused by the deletion of the small segment of chromosome 22. So in the chromosome 22, a very small portion in the Q arm is deleted and the locus is known as 22q11.2. And as a result of this deletion, there is D. George syndrome. So simply D. George syndrome is an inherited immunodeficiency disorder. We would learn about it in details. But the major facts about this disease is they have poorly developed thymus or no thymus at all. So you can clearly understand that there would be defects in T cell production and these individuals would be immunocompromised. Lastly, these individuals undergo cardiac complications. So let us look at some facial features that are distinct to D. George syndrome. So this is how our D. George syndrome patient would look like. He would have small low set ears, short width of the eye openings, enlarged nose tip and a hooded eye and majorly they have a very long face. So these are some few characteristic facial feature of D. George syndrome. Now this disorder is typically due to a deletion. Now due to this 22-11-Q-11-Q-2 um, deletion, there is at least 20 genes or more than 20 genes are deleted or affected. One of them or one of the most important of them is TBX1 gene. TBX1 gene is an important transcription factor which is present in the third and fourth pharyngeal pouch. And also it is enriched in facial structures, heart, thyroid, parathyroid, thymus, etc. And they are present while these tissue tissues are developing. So in D. George syndrome, TBX1 gene is missing. And as a result, these structures are compromised. So we can clearly understand that TBX1 is highly expressed in the structures such as heart, thyroid, parathyroid, etc. And all of these structures would be somehow perturbed in a DGS patient. Majorly, the heart is affected. So this is how a normal heart look like. But in the DGS patient, you would see ventricular septal defect or atrioventricular canal defect. These kind of defects are pretty common in D. George syndrome patients. Other than heart, there would be complications associated with thyroid and parathyroid gland. Now, let me tell you another important feature of D. George syndrome, which is present of a cleft palate. So here, an opening or cleft in the roof of the mouth plate is Seen. So you can see the, the upper lips are not totally joined to each other. Now as a result of this, there could be difficulties in swallowing and there could be also uh, speech related or verbal difficulties, characteristic sound might come out. So these kind of, difficult, these kind of uh, differences are present in D. George syndrome patients. Now, although most of the uh, D. George syndrome patients suffer to some extent immunodeficiency, but the, the extent of immunodeficiency could be variable. Now, the most important thing is thymus is not present or partially present in D. George syndrome patients. So, you can clearly understand T cells which develop from the thymus is not present in case of these D. George syndrome or even if presents at a very small extent. So all the T cell mediated functions of the immune systems are abrogated and these patients are more vulnerable towards opportunistic pathogen, bacteria, etc. Now thymic transplantation and passive antibody treatment might be beneficial for these patients but this is not a long term solution. So these individuals have their cell mediated immunity severely compromised as well as the B cell mediated uh, humoral immunity is also compromised because B cell activation requires T cell. So that is why these 
individuals are vulnerable to bacterial and fungal infection. So I hope that summarizes a little bit about D. George syndrome and this is a very short video. But if you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you. And if you want to join my Unacademy course, use my code EPI10 to get a 10% discount. Thank you guys.